Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with Vendor Wax Empties. No Scentsy today, I need to film a whole Scentsy Empties. I don't know, you can see <laughs> my Scentsy stuff piled up there. That's my plan for tomorrow. The Scentsy stuff just got out of hand. The Vendor stuff got out of hand, so it's easier just to do two separate videos, but stay tuned for Scents Scentsy Empties if you're just into Scentsy. I guess if you were, you wouldn't be on this video. So <laughs> never mind. Welcome to Vendor Wax Empties. I have quite a few vendors here. Um, a lot of stuff that I melted through the last couple of weeks. So let's get started. So I want to start by sharing a positive story. Natalie inspired me recently. About a month or so ago, she told a story on one of her empties or some video about this Pops Pizzeria down the street from her that burned, um, had a fire, and the neighboring pizzeria places, like the one next to them and the one across the street, so their competitors donated like $1,000 each to them, um, to the pizzeria that burned down to support, and that is just so heartwarming and touching. So I wanted to share an experience with uh, a lovely friend that I had here recently. So as you <laughs> may or may not have seen on the D stash group, I have been looking for the perfect storm. I had it in search of post to look for the perfect storm for about the last month or so. Well, Carly reached out and said that she would pass over her souffle to me. So purchased her souffle. I was so excited. A souffle for me will do my open concept. And so I was I was excited to get it because I knew I could do one melt of my open concept or I could do one melt of like all the bedrooms and bathrooms. So I was jazzed. So I'm expecting this little package to show up, um, you know, padded mailer or something. No, I get the box and it's a box, like a medium sized box on my porch. And I was like, that's a big box for one souffle. I open it. You guys, this thing was absolutely stuffed with wax and samples and goodies. And I have some of it to share with you today that I melted through. I mean, just absolutely stuffed. And it just touched me so much that she thought enough of me to not only sell me her perfect storm souffle, but to give me this many extras and she wrote me this beautiful card it was just it was lovely and I'm so appreciative and it just makes you realize that there are good people out in this world and it touched me so deeply so Carly for watching thank you so much um but I just wanted to share that story because for one I'm showing a lot of the wax that she so kindly gifted to me today but also it's just a positive story and I would love to hear um, in the comments like what's something that's happened to you recently that's been really great what's something that's made your day recently because that definitely did so so grateful so appreciative so just wanted to start out this empties by saying that and just saying a big thank you to Carly if you are watching but she gifted me <clears throat> quite a bit of um, quite a bit of things here so first off I have samples from sassy wax melts which i was really excited about because i had never melted from sassy wax when she had her old formula this is all her new formula i did not hear the best things about her wax and performance and so i i never was tempted to buy but i know that she's reformulated people are having a lot better luck with her wax and so i tried i think most of these i might be missing some that carly sent me um, it is very, very soft. You can see how mushy the bag is. Very, very soft wax, but it was beautiful. All of this performed amazing. I did all these from um, like through a variety of either the bathroom or the bedrooms and they all performed, they all performed great. So I finished a fresh picked strawberries, lemon curd and cotton candy. And these are all pretty recent pours from this one's April 2024, a pink elephant and love spell, a summer smash up, which is pink frosted cake, frosted sugar cookie, lemon icebox cookies, a 
a black raspberry vanilla strawberry jam. This one was a powerhouse, really, really strong. And then a lemon icebox, icebox cookies and wild berry jam donut. To be honest, I'm not going through and smelling all of them because I don't know if I could tell you if each individual scent, like details about each individual scent. And I say that because like this one was a pretty big piece, but the rest of them were like smaller, still really good size, but I might have used like two per room or something. So the scents kind of blend together. Yeah, this one just smells like black raspberry vanilla. One that I had heard a lot about is Smash Hit. I remember hearing about this one before I'd ever really knew anything about Sassy Wax. So I was familiar at least with the name of this scent and I know that this one is fairly popular. This is really good. This is very lemon curd, like lemonade. It gives me a strawberry lemon vibe. Great for the summer. So I went through those Sassy Wax Melts from Carly. She also gifted me from L3. It looks like this is one of her favorites. This is Blonde Moment plus Pink Sugar and Sugar Cookie Royale. I melted this in my hot plate here in this warmer. This was exceptional. This was so pretty. It's sweet, but the Sugar Cookie Royale gives it a little bit of a bakery feel. Carly, I totally understand why this is one of your favorites. Thank you so much for kindly gifting me a chunk so I could try. Okay, these two. <laughs> she sent me one from Southbound in bread and jam. So it was just like a French bread, like with a macerated jam. This was so good. I melted this in my bedroom. I need more of this. This was amazing. It's that super sweet macerated jam with the bread note. And this performed really well, and it's only a month old. This was poured in um, April of 2024. I loved this so much, and I haven't purchased really from Southbound in a long time. It's been years and years and years. Up until recently, I purchased two bakery bags in, oh, what's that lavender one? That lavender one that's really popular that Summer loves. I can't think of the name, but I purchased that um, and didn't get anything else. But I would be really interested in getting more of this if I see it. That was, that was so, so good. And then from Bodies Harmony, she sent me Strawberry Pound Cake and Palo Santo. So Bodies Harmony is no longer in business, but I had heard from Aubrey that her Strawberry Pound Cake was amazing. So I was excited to try this one. Um, even though I can't get any more of it just to see what it was like. You guys, this was unbelievable. The strawberry pound cakes, the Bath and Body Works tight, but it's so rich and creamy and juicy. And then you get that hint of the Smoky Polo. I loved this so much. It was such a great performer. Sad that Body Harmony is out of business, but this was so, so good, and I'm glad that I was able to try it. So thank you so much, Carly. I'm not sure if there's anything else from her in here. I tried to kind of organize <laughs> quickly together if I could, but um, there might be something I'm missing. From Bath and Body Works, I replaced my wallflower in the office for an island margarita. I love this scent. Sweet Mandarin, island mango, and sea salt. This is a powerhouse. This is such a strong margarita, summery, coconut, lime type scent. Beautiful. Really am enjoying that. From CQ Handcrafted Wax, I finished a sample in Winter Nights. I am not sure what is in here and honestly, I can't really tell. Maybe something Palo um, a little bit. Put this in a bathroom warmer and I really couldn't smell it but I not faulting the wax for that <laughs> I had other scents going in the in the bedroom as well as I just sometimes struggle with warming in the bathroom and getting the scent performance that I want no matter what vendor what scent it is occasionally I'll have a powerhouse and it will work really well but for the most part I struggle with it 
So I'm just not really sure about that one. And then I finished a clamshell in Wild Nights Keep Calling. This one is Wildberry Moose Beach Nights Palo Santo and Malo Fireside. I melted this in my kitchen and this was really, really nice. This was so pretty. The Wildberry Moose is really good. You got that like creaminess from the Beach Nights or the Marshmallow Fireside. It's Palo, but just like a hint of smoky. What are you doing? Okay, look at him. Are you sitting in a chair? Like a human? What do you think of this scent? Hey, what do you think? Do you like it? He likes to <laughs> look out that window, but just seeing him sit in that chair, that was too funny. Okay. But I really, really liked this one. This was this was good and a good performer. Sassy Girl Aroma finished a sample in Twinkling Star. Melted this in at my bedroom in the hot plate. This performed amazing. This smells a lot to me like Plum and White Woods, kind of from Scentsy, with maybe some added like spices to it. It's definitely a perfumey plum berry type scent. Enjoyed that one a lot. And now he's curled up. Curled up laying down. Oh my goodness, Rip. It's a good spot, bud. Okay, and then I finished a brittle, my last brittle. I am sad to see this go, but I'm trying not to hoard wax of any vendor, um, but I hope that I can get this again in the future. This is heading to camp. One of my absolute favorite scents from her. This is toasted marshmallow, burnt sugar, sticky sweet, sticky sweet cocoa vanilla, and a hint of smoky firewood. To me, this is a really great summertime bakery type scent. It smells a lot to me like a burnt sugar, burnt marshmallow type of scent, and it just gives me summertime. It's not spicy, it's not overly smoky, it's a light touch of smoke, the right amount of sweetness, and just like that burnt caramelized sugar, burnt marshmallow type scent. It is beautiful and it's a great performer. I have a couple of brittles of Amityville still in my collection, which is essentially this scent plus like some sugar cookie notes so very similar and that will definitely help get me through okay let's do teddy bees because teddy bees is sitting right in front of me um kind of right in my way so maybe let's finish off teddy bees here i've got five teddy bees items a couple of souffles first step i finished modern farmhouse this one is Tonka and Oud Vanilla Birch and Egyptian Amber. So I never would have picked this one up, but one time it was offered in maybe an RTS, I guess, and I'd heard so many people talk about it and decided to get it. Melted this in my open concept. This is a really pretty scent. It is a kind of perfumey cologne type scent to me, body care-esque. Um, you really get that kind of amber and Tonka and Oud very very pretty melted this in my open concept it was about a medium throw probably would have done better strength wise in the bedrooms but i still enjoyed it in the open concept and it just made the house kind of smell luxurious without being like luxurious in like a high-end type of way i guess i should say it smelled very fancy like you were in a fancy hotel or something Way too fancy for, <laughs> for my house, but enjoyed that one. Do I need tons of it? No, but I would pick up another souffle of it um, if it was offered and maybe try it in the bedrooms this next time. From Summer, she gifted me, this was half a souffle in frosted mint sugar cookies. So I melted this half souffle in this wax room here. Signature sugar cookies with a hint of creamy mint and marshmallow. This was so, so good. It kind of gives me Mint to be Merry vibes from Scentsy. It's just that kind of 
mint with a lot of bakery. It was beautiful. I'm really into mint right now. I want to melt mint all the time. I think about mint. I'm kind of on a mint kick. So really, really enjoyed that. Hopefully you guys picked that up from this last pre-order. Melted a souffle in silver and gold. So I recently just did my Teddy Bees collection videos. There's three videos. I had every intention of putting the pieces together and that's the way I had filmed it. And then when it came time to edit and export and upload it, my software said, absolutely not. <laughs> this is too much. So I ended up having to split it up. So thank you guys for sticking through three videos if you watched all three of them. But during that time, as I was showing all of my scents. I was looking at pour dates and trying to figure out what's ready to melt. And so this is one that I had pulled out as well as Modern Farmhouse um, to, to melt. Silver and gold is sensual vanilla, sparkling amber, cashmere woods, toasted marshmallow, and pink lavender. Melted this in the bedroom's bathrooms here one day. This is lovely. It is a very vanilla amber perfume. That's what I get from it. A body care, yeah, sensual amber, spark, or sensual vanilla, sorry, sparkling amber. It is very a cozy vanilla perfume with some amber, those kind of deeper amber sandalwood type notes. This was really, really nice. This was a good performer too, very strong. I do have another souffle of it, which I'm really excited about. I think I think Stephanie gift that, gifted that one to me. I need to be better about writing people's names down, so I'm really sorry. <laughs> if there's something I missed that has been gifted to me, I truly apologize. I need to take more time to like hand write people's names and stuff, um, but I just, I don't. I, I get the box, I sniff, I'm excited, and then I kind of organize and put everything away, but I need to take the extra time to, to write names. But in any case, I have one more souffle of it, and I'm so excited about that because that was a really pretty scent. Okay, two scents that I would love to see make a return. First up is Pink Moon. This one is Pink Sugar, Sweet Lavender, the smell of rain, crushed apple blossoms, and bruised flowers. This is such a pretty springtime scent. Oh my gosh, it's so unique too. You really get that like rain and crushed apple blossoms. It's floral, but it smells like wet flowers. It's so interesting. It's so pretty. I've gone through a, a souffle and now this tub of it. It's such a unique scent. I don't feel like I need tons of it. It's a very specific scent to me. I only want to melt it during the springtime. Um, <laughs> are you distracted? Because <laughs> I sure am. I only want to melt it during the springtime, but it is beautiful and so unique. And then lastly for Teddy Bees, I finished a Honey Bee. One of my absolute favorite scents. This one in particular was gifted to me by Summer, so thank you so much. This is Sweet Sugar Cookies Honey Nectar sweet vanilla and beach treats. The honey in this, I mean, anything blended with her beach treats is amazing. It's her beach nights blend. But the honey and the sugar cookies mixed together with like that creamy, salty beach nights, it is stunning. And I'm filming this before the Teddy Bees May pre-order. I'm really, really hoping this is on the list and she um, is able to find the oils for it. She made a post that this potentially got a lot of votes, but she didn't know if she could get the oils. And so I'm crossing my fingers because this is a perfect summertime scent. And I don't have a lot of honey scents in general. Like honey is not a scent oil that I've really explored too much, but this is the best one I have tried <laughs> from the little that I've tried. Luckily, I do have another tub of it. So I will maybe hoard that just a little bit <laughs> and see what happens if it's offered in the next few pre-orders. Okay, one from Swanky. This was a sample in the Melon Patch. I melted this in my bathroom. It performed great. It was just like a watermelon candy type watermelon scent. Yeah, it was really, really nice. It filled up that bathroom space great. 
And like I was mentioning earlier, my bathroom is a little bit harder, I feel like, to get through. So really enjoyed that. I think I got that as an extra in a D stash. So thank you so much for that. Let's see. Got some from... Oh, I've got a lot of vendors left here. I got some from K's. Um, a couple of samples that were gifted to me from Carly as well. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, pretty sure these are both from Carly. Enter Sandman. This one is lavender, marshmallow, and peppermint. So good. A great like nighttime bedroom melt. Same with pink marshmallow world. This one was like a, a pink sugar peppermint type scent. Yeah, really, really nice. And like I said, I've been really into mint lately. So enjoyed both of those. Okay, this one's special. This is My Little Oven. This is zucchini bread, sugar cookies, and sweet vanilla cream. This is a very creamy, heavy cream zucchini bread scent. Melted this in my living room one day. My it's not quite an open concept, but the kitchen and like office kind of flow into the living room. And so sometimes I'll put the same wax scent throughout if I have enough. Um, and this day I melted the wild nights keep calling from CQ in the kitchen. And then I put this in the living room. Um, wanted a scent that at least like semi went with the other scent, but I didn't think I had enough to do both spaces. So I'll put this in the living room. It was a media performer, a really, really pretty, creamy, light bakery scent. Um, and what's special about this is Natalie named this. Natalie came up with My Little Oven, and it is a tribute to her grandmother and the times when Natalie was a child and her grandmother would show her how to bake and just help her in the kitchen and show her how to do things in the kitchen. So really, really special scent. Um, so if you, if you want to try My Little Oven, you can... Think of Natalie and thank her for that name. Lastly, from K's, I finished a Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds. This is the Bath & Body Works type. This is Marshmallow Meringue, Vanilla, Fluffy Sandalwood, and Magnolia. Love this in the spring and summertime. This was my last bag of it. I need to get through a little bit more of my K's wax, uh, make sure I've gotten through like all my old stuff, and then I might place an order the last two years she's done like a discount sale in July, August or so. So I might try to place an order then just for a couple of things that I really, really love. This being one of them, it's just Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds. I think we all probably know what it smells like, but it performs so well. It's so pretty. And just to have a scent like this going throughout the entire house, it just makes the house, again, kind of like modern farmhouse, just feel high end in a way. It's beautiful. It's a great spring, summertime kind of perfumey scent. Loved that. All right. So many single vendors here. Let's do finish up my vendors that I only have one item left. From that Smell Good shop, I have a Beach Nights. This is Fire Roasted Marshmallow Sea Salt Breeze and S'mores. Tara so kindly gifted this to me. I really, really loved this, but to be honest with you, I love all beach nights. This was a very creamy, sweet beach nights. That was, that was good. From Britta's, I finished a Insidious. Insidious is funnel cake, strawberry pound cake, and apple cider donut. You really get the apple cider donut. Um, to be honest, I don't remember this a ton on warm. I really don't remember melting this much, <laughs> but it's a really pretty scent. Um, I feel like I need to do empties. I need to be better. The last couple of weeks I've been not good about filming empties right away and I need to do it because that's when I remember, that's when I remember scents. Um, this is good on cold. I wish I remembered on warm. Lavender and speckle scents, blackberry, beach, marshmallow. Absolutely obsessed with this. This was so good. Um, this is a repurchase. I melted one of them, absolutely loved it. 
and then she offered it in a pre-order and I grabbed two. So this is the first of the two that I've, I've melted. So luckily I have one more. This is sweet blackberries and marshmallows, vanilla sea salt driftwood, and a hint of s'mores. Our version of Bath and Body Works Beach Night. So blackberries, marshmallows, and beach nights. It was stunning. It's really blackberry. I get boardwalk marshmallow clouds and I get the beach nights. Her blackberry is a very deep, a deep dark blackberry, which makes this super unique mixed with like that kind of sweet marshmallow, the sweet beach nights, exceptional scent, amazing performer. This went for the entire day. Um, and even into the next night, I remember I got up the next morning and I can still smell it. So one of my favorites from her, I'm glad I have another one, but that's when I probably will look to getting either multiple small bags or a loaf in. I do like these bags. Um, and just smaller items in general, even though I, I do love loaves, but I love the smaller items in general because then I can kind of get through a melt and then be done with it for like that moment. Sometimes when I start a loaf, I feel like I have to finish it. I'm really not good at like starting a loaf and then putting it back in my collection. I, I like to have empties. <laughs> I like to be consistently going through wax. And so Sometimes I'd rather, if I love a scent, just get multiple bags of it and not get a loaf of it or something just because I could use this one bag and be done with it, then a month or so later use it again, etc. I don't know why my brain works that way, but it just does. From Knowles Farm Scents, I finished a sugar cookie royal. This was gifted to me from Stephanie the Scented Gemini. I loved this. This was sugar, bakery, dough, and vanilla. Melting this in my open concept area, so both the kitchen and the living room. This was so strong, so pretty. Yeah, on cold, it doesn't do it justice. It really warms up, and it's just this beautiful, like, sugar cookie scent. This was amazing. I need more of it. Travis, I need, I need this. Like, I need this. I definitely want to request that for a future pre-order. From Sweet Tooth Scents, I finished two. One is a snap bar in downtown barber shop. I love these snap bars. They're just easy, easy peasy. Take a piece off, drop it in your warmer. They are really, really nice. Downtown barber shop. It is just barber shop shaving cream. You guys know I love that type of scent. This one did not disappoint. I love this so much. It's very, very high-end smelling to me. It smells like an expensive shaving cream or like shaving oil. Very masculine cologne. Obsessed. I did get more of this during the May pre-order. So I hope that you guys did too. But really, really love that. Performed great. And then finished a wax cup in Salty Sea Air. So she actually gifted this to me. Heather did say thank you so much just to get my opinion on Salty Sea Air because I love Salty Sea Air. Sorry, a bird is <laughs> outside and he's, he's worried. This Salty Sea Air is so, so good. I can't remember if I got more of this or not during her pre-order. I almost want to say no. I'll have to look at my order just because I have so much salty sea air right now. I need to work through a little bit of it <laughs> and then purchase some more of it. But this one is so good. I will definitely get that again. And Heather, thank you so much for the sample. Two from Super Tarts. I finished a Deer Diary, a half bam in Deer Diary. And this one is Harvest Ale and Shaving Cream. If you've never tried Super Tarts Harvest Ale Oil, I would highly recommend it. It's in Dear Diary. It's also in Birds. Um, Birds is one of the best scents that she has, in my opinion. Her Harvest Ale Oil, whatever it is, is just, it's unique. I've never smelled anything like it. I've never seen another vendor offer anything like this. It is very, very pretty. Almost like a apple cider with some spices or something to it. 
to be honest, mixed with the shaving cream, I don't get a ton of like shaving cream or anything. So this one might be a good one to try even if you're not into shaving cream because I would never pick up shaving cream in this. Maybe it just makes it a little bit fresher, but the Harvest Ale is really what shines in this and it is, it's so good. I've had many of those. Um, I definitely would get more again. Same for this one. This is Violet. I've gone through, I don't even know how many of these scents. So, so many of these. One of my favorites from Super Tarts for years. This um, is Peppermint, Cotton Candy, and Blackberry. It is a beautiful peppermint scent. The Cotton Candy and the Blackberry make it. <laughs> Hi, buddy. <laughs> you want to smell? <laughs> the peppermint, or I'm sorry, the blackberry and the cotton candy make it a little bit sweeter and tones down the peppermint a little bit. It is beautiful. I like this any time of day, but in my bedroom and especially at night, love it so much. I'm sure that this is distracting, so <laughs> I'm sorry. We're almost done. The last vendor we have is Second and Spruce. So I finished a mini loaf in Roasty Toasty. This is my second mini loaf I've gone through, if I remember correctly. This one is roasted pine cones, toasted mallow, cinnamon, and sugar bakery spices. So I don't normally melt this type of stuff in the summertime. I'm definitely a seasonal melter for the most part. Um, other than kind of the occasional thing, I very much stick to kind of the season. Um, I like melting in the season. I like setting the stage for what the day is like. Um, I just, I'm a seasonal melter. In any case, there was one day where it was like very, very nasty weather. They were calling for a lot of tornadoes. They were calling for like golf ball to baseball size hail, depending on what area you were in. So a lot of us actually left work at like 11 o'clock or so that day to go work from home the rest of the day. Like put your car in the garage because it was it predicted like around the Midwest to have a really, like a really bad storm day and it was getting real dark and scary outside. So I was able to come home midday and it was like pitch black out. I mean, it was dark. And so when I was trying to figure out what I wanted to put into the warmers since I was home, I decided I wanted something really cozy um, because of the weather outside and I didn't want to put anything super fruity in because it just, it didn't make sense for what the weather was like. So long story short, but I put this one into the warmers and it was perfect for that situation. I will say, I think I'm a little over the scent. I don't think I'm going to get it again, at least not for a while. The roasted pine cones, the toasted mallow are amazing, but that cinnamon sugar bakery, it's beautiful and I enjoy it, but I'm kind of over bakery right now. I just, I don't know. I'm having like a, a bakery aversion which is something I never thought I would say, but for me, I'm just not enjoying it as much in this moment. And so I need to kind of take a break from purchasing bakery, reassess, see where I'm at, see what I'm really, really enjoying. And so while I did enjoy this, it was pretty, the cinnamon and sugar bakery spices at this stage of my life was just a little too much for me. Um, so I'm gonna pass on this one. However, I do have roasty toasty eggnog in my collection. Anything blended with her eggnog is exceptional, but don't get me wrong. This was still an amazing scent. I think my scent pref preferences are just evolving a tiny bit, but performed great. Like I always say, her stuff throws the second you put in water, put in the warmer and it melts like it's butter. Okay. Then I've got two, two samples. These were the samples that she sent me in my the one pre-order where there's smoke in palo santo so luckily she <laughs> had this in her may pre-order and i got i think two or three mini loaves of it by the fireplace type marsh marshmallow fireside smoked vanilla sugar cookie and palo santo i need tons of this i need tons of where there's smoke by itself i need tons of where there's smoke plus roasted pine cone what a beautiful scent. If you like by the fireplace and you want like an added smokiness, that's what this is. The Polo just adds a little bit added smokiness to it. 
and then by the fireplace is that kind of cologne -y fireplace scent exceptional absolutely loved it have to get more of it and luckily i have some coming and then lastly i have surfs up surfs up is sea breeze cedar vetiver moss musk amber and vanilla I loved this as well. I want more of this. This is going on my list of things to request to repurchase at some point. It is stunning. It's a very kind of aquatic cologne to me and I wonder if it's supposed to be a cologne dupe. I have no idea. If you've had this and you've smelled it, let me know what you think about it because I loved this so much. Just a very aquatic cologne type scent to my nose. Performed great, loved it so much. Okay, that is everything. Very, very chatty. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed kind of the extra chit chat today. And I hope that you enjoyed seeing all of the vendor wax empties that I've used up. Like I said, I've got this Scentsy pile right here. I'm planning on filming that tomorrow. So that should be up in the next few days. Really hope that you guys enjoyed and I will see you very soon in my next one. Bye.